All right, folks, uh, take 27 of Mr. Neri's scientific notation video. Yes, I've screwed it up 26 times. This is going to be the right one. I can feel it. So let me tell you, scientific notation, great stuff. This is a, a fantastic way to write numbers that are huge in a more manageable fashion or numbers that are itty bitty bitty teeny weeny numbers in a, in a much more manageable fashion. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So make sure you stay tuned in and you stay right on the edge of your seat for this. It's going to be great. So here's what we do. Uh, so like I said, first thing, writing big numbers in scientific notation. Let's take a look at that now. So uh, the distance from the sun to Pluto. All right, check this out. 3,179,000,000. Six hundred thousand miles. Yeah, yeah, long way. All right. So, if you were working with that number a lot, you really wouldn't want to write that whole thing out. So we, that's where we use our scientific notation. Here's what we do: we write three point one seven nine six times ten to the ninth power. Why nine? Good question. Why nine? Well, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, so check this out. These two values exactly equal each other. This equals that. They're the same thing. I can prove it to you. You know how, how 10 to the ninth power, we go 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, nine times. And you'd end up with this great big number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You end up with this. Well, if you take this and you multiply it by 3.1796, you're right back here again. All right? Never lose sight of that. These two things equal each other. The scientific notation equals the, the number in standard form. Very key. All right. Here's another thing I want to tell you about scientific notation. So lots of times you get a, you get a big number... Uh, I'm going to be really creative. Watch this number I put up here for you. I need one more digit. I'll put a, I'll put a six right there just because. All right, so, so we've got this really big number. And lots of times, this kind of precision, we don't really need it. So when we write things in scientific notation, we'll commonly round the number. So... Let's remember how we do this. Uh, 1.23. Now, if I round this to this spot right here, I got to look at this number and I got to decide do I keep this the same or do I round it up? Is it closer to 234 or 235? Well, five or above, we got to round up. So 1.235 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 power. All right, so, so this would be a rounded version of that that we wrote in scientific notation. Okay, so that's big numbers. First, itty bitty teeny weeny numbers. How do we do that? And who cares? Why do you even use that kind of thing? Well, kind of a hot topic right now is the whole bacteria and virus thing. I'm not going to dwell on it, but let's face it, it's here. So, um, so your typical bacteria is two micrometers. That's two, well, let me, let me show you. That's why I brought this thing, which is kind of, uh, I've been playing with and so forth. But what's this thing? Of course, it's a meter stick. And when you look at a meter stick, it's broken down into centimeters. And it's got millimeters on it. These little, little teeny tiny spaces. I don't know if you can see that. Little teeny tiny spaces right there. Each one of those is a millimeter. Well, if you split one of those itty bitty millimeters into a thousand, there's, by the way, there's a thousand millimeters on this meter stick. If you split that, mil, that millimeter into a thousand spaces, each one of those would be a micrometer, all right? Well, just two of those micrometers equals uh, a bacteria. So check this out. Here we go. So bacteria, two Two millionths of a meter. If we broke this into a million little tiny spaces, two of those little tiny spaces together, that would be the length of one bacteria. Here's what that looks like. 
Okay, as a decimal, here's what it looks like. Here's, here's what that looks like in scientific notation. All right, now, before we were moving the decimal this way, you know, with the big numbers, we were moving the decimal for a big number, we were moving it this way to make the number smaller, and then we'd say times 10 to the whatever power. Same kind of deal, but now we're going the other way, so check this out. This is going to be 2 times 10 to the, let's see how many places we move this decimal this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So 10 to the 6 power, well that would make it bigger, right? So here's what we do. Negative 6. All right, now think back to our negative exponents thing for last week. This is, this is 1 over 10 to the 6 power. All right? Which is... 0 0.000001. So you're multiplying 2 by this, which gives you this value. So these two things equal each other, just like, just like these two things equaled each other. Again, it's so critical. Your scientific notation has to equal the standard notation that you started with. Yeah, all right. One more example here, virus, even smaller than a bacteria. So your typical virus is 90 nanometers, not micrometers, nanometers. If you took a millimeter and you split it into a, a million pieces, 90 of those would be, together would be the, the length of a virus. Well, here's what that looks like, okay? So <laughs> nine, nine uh, hundred millionths of a meter is the length of a virus okay and, and I'm, I'm telling you that because I want you to realize we're gonna we're gonna take care of this virus problem it's gonna get better that's a promise why are we how are we gonna do it we're gonna use math we're gonna use science and we're gonna figure out we're gonna figure out some vaccines and stuff it's gonna make the world a better place okay hold me to that it's gonna happen all right so how would we turn this how do we turn this into scientific notation? Think about that for a second. Think about how, okay, remember what we did here. What would make sense for turning this into scientific notation? Let's start with that 9. Okay, now we've got times, times what? Times that 10. Okay, now think about what that exponent is going to be this what's that exponent well one two three four five six seven eight I moved it eight places so and this is a small number it's going to be a negative eight on that negative eight for an exponent okay small numbers big numbers there you have it I'm going to quiz you on a couple problems at this time. Check this out. So, I'm going to just make something up here. 8675309. And I'll put a 5 and a 2 and a 7 and a fold right there. Okay. If I remember that accuracy, we really need so much accuracy. So, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to just round this. I'm going to say it's 8, 6, 7, 5, and then a bunch of zeros. Just put zeros in for those other numbers because we don't care about them. All right. So what I want you to do, I want you right now, write that in scientific notation. Put it right on a piece of scrap paper. I don't care. Write it down. You got it? All right. So... If you wrote this down, you can pause right now. You can pause right now if you're like, geez, I, I'm not quite done yet. Whatever. Two, let's see. Put some commas in this bad chicken. And there we go. So I moved that decimal 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten places. There you go. 8.675 times 10 to the 10th power. These two things are equal to each other. You got a good job there. All right, there's big numbers. Quiz on the small number, check it out. Lots of zeros, lots of zeros, we love them. We love our zeros. Zero the hero. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stand right here for a second. Write that as a scientific, as in scientific notation. Go. You got this. Okay. All right. Pause if you are not done yet. You're still thinking. Here's what you should have. 2.265 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 places. Is that a big number? Heck no, that's an itty bitty teeny weeny number. Negative exponent. Boom. Just like that. There's your scientific notation. There's Mrs. Muzzy in the background. So, all right, everybody. There's scientific notation for you. Do your best with it. If you've got questions, let me know.